Uh, Susan Sontag. I, I want to ask. I want to ask a very quiet question to. Uh, to uh, <laughs> I want to ask a very quiet question to Norman and to Diana also, though it obviously applies to the others. Norman, it is true that women find, with the best of will, the way you talk to them patronizing. And uh, one of the things is your use of the word lady. When you, uh, and this is what I want to ask Diana, when you said Diana Trilling, foremost lady literary critic, I, if I were Diana, I wouldn't like to be introduced that way, and I would like to know how Diana feels about it. I don't like being called a lady writer, Norman. I know it, does, it seems like gallantry to you, but it, it doesn't feel right to us. It's a little better to be called a woman writer. I don't know why, but you know words count. We're all writers, we know that. Uh, well, how about a woman doctor, a woman lawyer? Yeah, I mean, you, if you were introducing James Baldwin, you wouldn't say our foremost Negro writer. And we certainly wouldn't say a man writer, and so on. And that, a lot of it, a lot of it. <laughs> a gentleman writer. Uh, Susan, no, I really, I really Susan, ask you this, Susan, not in an argument. Paris is worth a mass. I will never use the word lady again in public. No, I want to ask you, Susan. Uh, I, Susan, you put the question to me, too. I don't like it, and I recognize the point you're making very well, but sometimes I think that it's like saying lady runner or lady high jumper or something of that kind. Within the culture, it has that peculiarity, doesn't it? And so I permit it on that basis. I don't really like it. <laughs> hmm? I, th I think you ought to object to it. Uh, Cynthia, At least oh, he didn't say a housewife who writes. <laughs> <laughs>